coming in. Welcome back, my guy. Always a pleasure. And here we go. We got right. Heyman and Bandit coming up. PS2, classic starter. Dash type to get things uh, going. Actually, kind of surprised that K-Man didn't have to go with a different character. Um, he is a Falcon named Tried and True. He might, the only other character he would have possibly gotten is Banjo. I've definitely seen him go here though, before. He's definitely been working on a hero. He's been working on all the DLCs, my guy. He yeah. just plays the DLC. He just plays his game. I haven't seen him, uh, oh, that, yeah. He's not dead, but he's probably dead. No, he yeah. isn't, yeah. yeah. Ban Bandit's <laughs> cleaner than that. No, literally, that's the situation when that Banda puts you in. When you lose your jump, you're not dead, but you're probably going to die <laughs> real soon. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, Bandit is so clean with these edge guards, and he's been practicing it even more this week. Bandit, that's his best part of his gameplay is his advantage. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you're not safe on him, they'll just dagger you off stage, and then he's an advantage. Honestly, Pikachu doesn't have a terrible disadvantage. Like, that's what makes Pikachu and Snake such good characters. Their disadvantage is, well, Snakes is almost non-existent, but Pikachu, like, he has, okay, he's dead for the back yeah. um, But he has a quick attack to get through, and like an invincible burst option, and a few other things. Yeah. But, K-Man's gonna be looking to get in with these dash attacks and these side specials, these rapid boosts, because they get through of uh, Bandit's big hitboxes. Because dash attack and rapid boost for some reason have even bigger hitboxes than armor. Hmm. So actually, the last time these two played, K-Man actually showed Bandit how to DI Falcon combos. Well, that's K-Man for you. He's teaching yeah. everyone the matchups so that they can get better, so that he can get better. Yeah, no, that great for our scene. Oh, uh, Phantom Footstool. And K-Man expertly keeping that jump right there. Yeah, I mean, it just takes that one, uh, <laughs> that one time getting edge guarded by Bandit to uh, know that. It might definitely... happen again. No, okay. All right. Early uh, back air from Bandit. Gonna allow K-Man to get back to stage, but those forward airs and we oh. back it a grab. Oh. oh, okay. He wanted it. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, super dead. Bandit going for a lot of those thunders off stage. Oh, yeah. Came in very aware, not letting it happen, and finally able to get the punish there to seal the game. Yeah, came man's gonna be up a game here. Um, he's just been really good at not like. Well, first of all, I think Bandit isn't playing as patient as he could be. Oh yeah. He's playing really shook. Um, like way too aggressive. Especially against Falcon. Like, I, know, I understand Falcon's a rushdown character, and you want to try and not be in that situation as much as possible. But Pikachu needs to... I think Bandit needs to just stick to his usual game plan of waiting it out and then being able to back air them off the stage, and once they're off the stage, convert into an edge guard. Yeah, I definitely agree. And, I mean, we've definitely seen uh, that be one of Bandit's worst habits before. All right, so K-Man going to go for the Banjo... Feeling confident in that Falcon. Going the mumbo jumbo skin. All right. Oh. oh. All right, Bandit. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, Let's go. I definitely wouldn't underestimate Bannon's Ganondorf. Like I would said. underestimate K Man's banjo. He said he did not know what he was doing. He doesn't know the conversions or anything, but he's, uh, he's ready to go. Oh, yeah, definitely. K Man's just such a talented player. Of course, he's really a master of those Falcon conversions, but he still has a really solid neutral and disadvantage. We saw how he was able to recover against Bandit so many times last game. But as you're saying earlier, Bandit's advantage today is the best start of his play, and Ganon really fits him in that sense. Oh, so close with that uh, forward smash. You know, Banjo's got a, a, a Ganon forward smash of his own. Oh, yeah, Ganon yeah, I, I know that person. <laughs> I honestly love that, like, especially, because that's an actual move in Banjo-Tooie. Oh, Regal Bash, it? yeah, you get it, and it's hilarious because you slam Kazooie down, and she makes that, like, she makes, like, an oh, I'm dead noise, like, why would you do this to me? And she sometimes makes that in this, if you listen closely, too, <laughs> and I love it. Actually, you never played the Banjo, the banjo games, so. The Banjo games were my childhood. Regal Bash? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> but 
But it, okay. uh, yeah, Catching Bandit being a little over aggressive there in the Wild Wing. Ooh, but fine, that Nutra catching the end of the Wonder Wing. Bandit's evened it up. And no mash out from Bandit. Gonna get jabbed for his troubles. I do think mixing up jab is the way that you want to go against Banjo. Or mixing up uh, how you get out of grounding, mashing or not, is the way to go against yeah. Banjo. Well, I think at low, because like mashing out of Banjo's down throw is easier than mashing out of any other berry throw. Even uh, Rob? Yeah. And so it's um, actually, wow. Well, he got, no, he didn't. I lied. Bandit keeping his jump like a pro. Um, I, it might not be harder than Rob, but Banjo can't get anything off of it. Like, Rob can get a free up air, Banjo can't. Um, so, it, it's way easier to just mash out and, and get away than it is to... Oh, wow. Bandit's really efficient. Stock what frame away. is uh, Banjo's forward air? Um, I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, oh, why are we catching a spot dodge and... Uh, <laughs> Got him. Came in, I was like, spot dodge this. You know what? As Banjo, I always go for a grenade egg when my opponent dies. But that's like super dumb because I can't get anything out. I can't get it. It can't explode on them. They have invincible. Oh my gosh. Banjo. Yeah, I messed around with this character for like three hours, but I just couldn't understand uh, how his kit really came together. So I definitely need some help figuring out what Banjo does and how to fight him. Yeah, he's very good at, he's he's like a semi-snake in a way. He can't camp you out as hard as Snake can camp you out, but he's way better at being aggressive than Snake is at being aggressive. Yeah. He's also the same weight as Snake and Rob, if I remember correctly. That's super heavy. That is super heavy. They literally just made Snake. They gave him worse Snake up tilt, worse Snake grenade. They gave him Snake up tilt minus Snake up tilt hitbox. Yeah, that's what they did. <laughs> they gave him... Uh, Ivy Nair, but better? Well, uh, I don't know about better. No, it's worse. It's, it's worse. So worse. Definitely worse. It's, it's, it's Piranha Plant Nair. Yeah, Piranha Plant Nair. That, that's, that's more fair. No, I know. I'm saying, I'm saying Banjo's Nair is worse than Plant's. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going back to the All right, Pika Falcon. Here. Pika Falcon. That was a fun little intermission when Bandit took game two um, solidly with. Uh, all right, but here we here we go here we go. Uh, all right. Almost gonna see something very similar to that first game, but uh, gonna easily get a free Falcon dive out of that uh, back air. Help you out of shield, so good for Falcon. And if you have good out of shield options, that's gonna help you a lot against Pikachu. I thought you got it. No, I know Pikachu has such a dumb habit of just low profiling under you whenever you try an out of shield option that's not very cool okay then trying to read the roll not gonna get it oh yeah and he tried to read the landing there too bandit doing a good job of mixing up his options this game a lot better than uh, game one yeah bandit definitely uh someone like myself who's definitely a fan of going for those aggressive landing option options that and town platform came in just in time so for in to avoid any terrible uh Edge guards coming out from Bandit. Yeah. <gasps> the roll behind, waiting for the grab. Came out right. uh, Bandit's kind of rolling back to ledge a bit more. It's uh, it seems like he's a little bit shook, and yeah, that's Down gonna catch neutral. Get up. Moves really active. Kicking that rat all the way back. We support rat abuse here. Yeah, I definitely support rat abuse. Okay. All right, here's the combos. I guess, like we said, K-Man's. Punish game so strong. I feel like if he waited for that uh, air dodge, he could have gotten a huge punish. Yeah. But instead, throwing out up airs, missing Bandit, able to get the kill conversion off. Of it. It's actually weird because I don't notice Bandit going for air dodges out of disadvantage very often. I think that's why he wasn't ready. For yeah. <laughs> it's a great mix-up there by him from Bandit. Okay. Caught his jump. Oh, and a slick movement from K-Man to get over that thunder jolt. Okay, good tech from K-Man, but a raw knee is probably supposed to be a back air. Oh. And I'll be on a shield so good. I always oh, he could, that underestimate suck. how much range that has. How good is a Falcon down tilt for two framing? Um, not that great. I mean, at two frames. 
yeah. but it's it's a hard timing thing because it's a little delayed. Wow, that could have been really bad for Pain Man, and it still is. It's, this is terrible. All right, good avoidance. He's going to be able to make it back to stage, but yeah, Bandit can throw him right back off. That side special allowing Bandit to get the grab, and the platform oh, I like coming it. in. Thunder hitting him, but not able to kill because the platform saving him. Dax <laughs> to take that stop. Catching the jump. Bandit's been uh, trying that a lot, which is weird, because usually the Bandit habit is to roll out of the corner, but this game he's been really trying to just aggressively come out with those fares. Okay, came in able to make it back to stage safely, but at 125... Ooh, that could have been bad, but able to grab the ledge. I like it, not going for the up there, but forward smash okay. coming up from Bandit. <laughs> the Bandit classic coming out, dash back forward smash. I Absolutely like loves that. <laughs> Came in using that invincibility to really, you know. Oh, yeah, he's still got a double one. jump. Oh, and he makes it back. That was really smart. But he, <gasps> yeah, yeah, I knew it. Oh I knew no! It. It was a regrab as soon as he. As soon as he, yeah, K-Man's not gonna give up a chance like that. He's definitely one of the cleanest players Middle Tennessee has in terms of conversions.